Dr. Lay, you, uh, you know, we talked about gum disease being a, an awful bad thing. It ruins basically most organs in your body slowly but surely and to a very high degree irreversible, or at least very difficult to uh, reverse. Now, what, uh, you know, what should a person do to, number one, maybe prevent it in a fast way? But let's just assume, let's talk a little bit about if he has it already, how has technology helped us there to, uh, to fix it? Well, well, now we can we can test the saliva to determine if uh, if the bacteria is in the mouth that that causes uh, gum disease. Some people may have a higher level of that bacteria than other people, so that enabled us to really tailor any treatment, you know, towards that individual. And and it may mean um, maybe more frequent cleanings. Uh, it may mean that uh, if we if we could just act, uh, treat them in a preventative manner, they'll never get the disease. Uh, meaning that they may come in every three months instead of every six months, or it could be every four months. Uh, it's, it's really, again, tailored to that individual because we're all individuals, and, and our body, our makeup of our body, there, there's variations that, um, that you know, will predispose one person uh, to a gum infection, and another person may have the same habits, but they don't have that same predis- predisposition, so they may not have gum infection. So, well, so again, okay. by testing the saliva... Yeah. yeah. So what about exactly. having yeah. it? What about a person who already has it? So a person, I think you guys are talking about pockets, which is between the tooth and the meat, kind of like the dirt sure. starts being in there and the, and the and the infection starts crawling there. So let's just, let's assume a person has a, a gum disease, uh, maybe not so heavy mm-hmm. and maybe very heavy. What what are the way What are the ways of doing it? Uh, what, what's the damage there? Well, what we're finding now is a lot of the cases can be treated non-surgically, and I think this is what's uh, scared people off in the past is the thought of having gum surgery, but the uh, the research has shown that uh, the, the results, comparing, comparing the results between the surgical and non-surgical treatment, uh, there's not a lot of variations, so we, we heavily promote non-surgical treatment, and a lot of times you don't even have to have a shot. Uh, it's, it's, it's treating that pocket, uh, placing a, a little chip with uh, an antibiotic in that chip to help uh, kill off any bacteria in addition to the, uh, the cleaning and flushing out of the pocket. And um, I, again, for that first year of therapy, you know, we may be seeing you every, every 10 to 12 weeks so that we can keep those pockets clean. But, but again, it's, it's, they're comfortable appointments. Uh, they're not long appointments. We, we, we generally keep them under an hour. Uh, sometimes less, uh, and, and again, depending on how well uh, the patient partners with us on the treatment, again, the, the greater the success. Always, Lee, you're alluding that um, no matter what, in, in everything in life, you know, whether it's uh, studying and successful in business or in a marriage or whatever it is, karate, it wouldn't matter what you learn and do, and of course, overall body health, I guess the involvement of the individual is always a, a, a important, no matter what. We cannot just Absolutely. say this dentist or this doctor or this cardiologist will fix everything I do, all the sins I make, like from the hot dogs, oh my God, I eat lots of them, <laughs> you, know, all, you know, all that stuff, uh, and, and he will fix it. I can eat uh, what I want, when right. I want, uh, the weight loss doctor will fix it. That's just not totally true. Right. No, not at all. Yeah. That's right. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. so basically, it, there's a lots of less invasive or minimum invasive or non-invasive without surgery ways of fixing gum disease already quite heavy. But sometimes still a little bit of surgery or so might have to happen. Depends on how bad it is, I guess. So not. Uh, occasionally, yes. Yes, occasionally, but it's uh, it's a lot less than it has been in the past. But yes, there's always going to be that that patient who's going to need periodontal surgery. Absolutely. But if you do if you do regularly go to a dentist and and then more or less act on what he recommends, that surgery basically will never really happen anymore, right? Is that more or less? Uh, yeah, more or less. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah so basically, now you can go and do, you know, do those antibiotic chips and all that type of stuff, and it actually will, will, uh, will, will go away. Good. Yes, we can, uh, we, we, could, we could treat it so that ultimately uh, the individual can, can maintain their gum health and, and see us every six months. That's our goal, for the patients to be able to get to that point where they can only see us twice a year, and that's, that's the goal of treatment. Mm-hmm. Good. And, of course, no, no yellow 
reddish, ugly pus in your in your in your mouth. That's right. Which keeps drifting down into your blood uh, 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 streams. Yeah. Good. Right. Thank you very yeah, much. No bleeding. No. Oh, bleeding. You're welcome. <laughs> no bleeding. <laughs>